Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. Well, 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 it looks like the Los Angeles Dodgers were not going to get swept. They were not going to go away quietly. The Dodgers, who made a fantastic come-from-behind attempt in yesterday's game, almost coming back in the ninth inning to beat the Braves. It was very scary for Atlanta fans. For anyone who was rooting for the Braves, it was intense. And the Dodgers ended up falling just a little short by one run. And then there was the talk about, you know what, this was a moral victory for the Dodgers. The Dodgers are going to continue this. They're going to come out in game three swinging hot bats. And I'm thinking, you know what, maybe. I could see the Dodgers having a good game. I could see the Dodgers scoring even maybe 10 or 11 runs. Um, but I didn't mean 10 or 11 runs in one freaking inning. The Dodgers scored 11 runs in the first inning, the most in postseason history in a single inning. Previous record was 10. Last match by the Cardinals in game five of the 2019 NLDS, which is insane. I remember that. But the Dodgers did them one better and scored 11 runs, three bombs, five extra base hits in the first inning. I mean, broke all kind of records. Guys, it was amazing. And the Dodgers just absolutely plummeted the Braves in game three. And that also snapped a seven-game winning streak a uh, seven game winning streak for the Braves in the playoffs. So very crazy game there. And now, now it's like, what in the hell is going to happen tomorrow in game four? I will be there. I am going to be there and I'll be trying to keep you guys updated on everything. Maybe do a couple of short little streams there. And I definitely look for some vlogging videos and I'll have some uh, pre and post games as well. Uh, some live stuff here, some car live videos and some hotel live videos as well. And uh, guys, so get ready for that. But yeah, this was absolutely insane. I had no idea the Dodgers were going to go off like this. Uh, they did slow down a little after the first inning, ended up scoring 15 in the game. The Braves only managed three runs. We did see the first career home run of Christian Pache. I'll go technically, I guess it's not a, his first career home run since it's in the postseason. It's not going on his official regular season record for his career, but it definitely is very, his first his first meaningful big league home run, and uh, it was absolutely awesome to see. But, yeah, not nearly enough. So, a tough one there for the Braves. They'll look to bounce back, but tomorrow is going to be interesting. So, game four is happening tomorrow. Like I said, I'll be there at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Pacific, and it looks like Clayton Kershaw could be the man tomorrow. If he is feeling good, if nothing uh, happens, he should get the ball tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm not sure. It may be May, but we'll have to wait and see. And uh, this one is absolutely huge. The Dodgers can tie the series or the Braves can take a 3-1 lead in the series. And the Dodgers would then be facing elimination three straight times if they're able to win in games five and six. And then they'd have to win in game seven. It would be very tough. So tomorrow is huge for the Dodgers. It's huge for the Braves, too. Braves certainly don't want to get, have a 2-2 you know, series after getting a 2-0 lead. So tomorrow is huge. I'm so excited. Can't wait to bring it to you guys. Also, in the American League, the Astros hang on. Despite a little scare in the top of the night, they win 4-3 to three over the Rays, and that is obviously more than huge for the Astros. It was absolutely necessary, absolutely mandatory that they win this game just to stay alive. So it's now 3-1. Tampa Bay still in the lead in this series, but the Astros not going away quietly. Greinke throws six innings, gives up just two runs, a walk, seven strikeouts, looks pretty good, and uh, the Astros are able to get it done. Randy Rosarena went deep off Granky. He continues to swing a hot bat. He's hitting 438 in the postseason. So just a uh, very exciting game, very close game here, and the Astros take it. So obviously every game is huge for the Astros here on out. The Rays just need to find a way to win one, and they'll be in the World Series. So that's where we're at, everybody. Um, and give your media thoughts down below. Sorry I couldn't go live today. I'm in the process of traveling on my way to Texas, and I will see you guys there tomorrow. So y'all have a great one. Let me know what you think down below of that crazy Dodgers game, that first inning. And my goodness, what do you think over there? Do you still think that the Braves are the favorites, even though they're up 2-1 at this point? Or do you think the Dodgers are going to come from behind and take this thing? Let me know down below. And the Astros, do they still stand a chance? I want to know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you later. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's five.